We, hey, we're going for the we're going for the freaking quad, all right? And it starts with uh it starts with Sunderland away in the FA Cup, and I believe we can handle that. We're going for the quad. This week we could become immortal. We could accomplish something in football manager so unbelievable. Uh Okay, Kaya, you're off for Karen Tall, McIntosh, Lucius, Endrick. Uh, definitely don't want Endrick to have to play, obviously. Why can Ebisele play left wing but not right wing? I really want to explain that one to me. Actually, you know what? Let's do that. Let's play Festy Ebisele at the wing and then just go with McIntosh here. Get the opportunity to turn him into an inverted winger so he can get onto his strong left foot. Sunderland is very good, though. Uh, it's worth mentioning they do have our former player on their team. They are first in the championship with 76 points from 36 matches. It's an impressive season. They're probably It's probably basically like playing a bottom-of-the-table team in the Prem based off their quality. And we're on the road, and it's a cup, so they're going to have an extra fire under them. It's the... Last 16 of the FA Cup. Festi Abazili! Dude! Now, I like Ruben Amarim a lot. But he, you know, he still hasn't had to do it or done it at one of the... Oh, my goodness. What an effort from Mastin Tuano. Hello. Last 20 minutes, and we are still nil-nil against the best team in the championship. Oh, that took a deflection. Yay! Doeg. Doeg. Oh, you got to get that. Yes, loose touch. Easy. Shikichi cuts inside. There's options. It's always Colombo. That was a good ball, though. No, oh, thank you. Oh, it was, I was, I was, I spent the entire time just dumping on Colombo, and he's the guy that delivers a sp <laughs> Just a spectacular assist. I'm so sorry, man. I did not mean it. You are a great player, and that's why I have you on my team. Exactly why I have you on my team, because you're a great player. So it was, it was, it was offside. I canceled the changes, so we still have a really aggressive tactic in there. I, I'm, okay, now we score. Shigichi, oh! We're fine. We got him right where we want him. We're playing a championship team, you know, but the Stadium of Light, notoriously difficult place to play, is what I was thinking. Josh has that. Oh, yeah, good hands. He's hurt. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All we have to do is get to extra time because so Pavlok's tall. He's got good jumping reach. I'm just going to put him in there. <sighs> all right, Pavlok's playing in goal. Extra time. We're fine. We're fine. It was only one minute, chat. We are so fine. So because the guy left the field, we cannot use our substitute, you know, not for a card or anything, he just left the field because he got hurt. But because he left the field, we can't use our substitution to bring another guy in. Yeah, that's just that's just really stupid. That makes no sense. Is it full match? No, no, we're on extended highlights. That was, we had two offside goals in this game too, but that one was apparently onside. Naturally. Someday, this is why you pray to the FM gods, dude. Sometimes the game just wants you to lose. All right, we're out of the FA Cup. That is, uh, that is just incredibly brutal and unfortunate the way that went down. But I, I, don't, I don't think there was too much that we could have controlled in that. Uh, we played better than the whole game, had the whole injury thing with the goalkeeper that, 
had us down a man for the entirety of extra time that, you know, I, I, I like that is brutal and it's a really bitter pill to swallow, but I'm not worried about our team. Oh, there's the round of 16 draw. We're getting some Champions League music. Oh, here are the teams. So the unseeded teams, these are the teams we could draw. Wait, what? This is literally wrong. So these are the seeded teams. These are the unseeded teams. <laughs> so these are the teams we could draw. Anderlecht, Celtic, Villa, Benfica, City, Juventus, Salzburg, Milan. I don't think we can draw City, but I'm not sure. Or Villa. I would obviously love Celtic or Anderlecht. That would be huge. Thank you. Hello and welcome to the Champions League draw hosted by Scott Brown, former Celtic legend. Okay. Celtic, you know it's me. You know it's me. You know what's up. Okay. Lille and Celtic. That's good. We'll play the winner of that in the quarterfinal. I'm cool with that. I'm very cool with that. Benfica, I'd be all right with that. That's an okay round of 16 draw. You know, that's something that we can, uh, we can vibe with. Bayern? All right. Chill, 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 chill. It's whatever. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Man City. All right. Uh, this is PSG. PSG. Real Madrid. Enter. <sighs> okay. Definitely could have drawn them. It's Inter and Man City in the round of 16. Glorious. All right. Aston Villa. Uh, you know what? Go ahead and hand them Arsenal. Go. Let's have an holiday. <laughs> Well, that wasn't one of the easier ones. Villa's actually been pretty good. We're literally about to play them, too. All right, so I play Aston Villa three consecutive times. Let's go. <laughs> Aston Villa triple header. What dreams are made of. Now, this one's a league match. This is us at home against Aston Villa in the league. We've got our full first team ready because they were not out there in the FA Cup, obviously. Would have loved to have uh, gotten those guys involved a little earlier. We're not able to do it, and we paid the price. Now we are uh, we are in a position to try and stretch commanding lead here. Eleven matches left. We win those eleven matches, we win the league going away quite comfortably, and I think we can do that. We do have a couple of tough ties coming up towards the end of the season. I think we've got um, not Arsenal, but we do, we do have Liverpool. We do have Newcastle left, and obviously Villa. Oh, ref, obvious pen. I mean, could have saved that one for the Champions League, but <laughs> I'll take it. Seca, you're up. Seca, banger. Thank you. Restore the order for Tottenham Hotspur. Restore the order. Um, I'm pleased. I wouldn't say we've created loads. I don't necessarily agree with that, but... They haven't created anything, and we have a goal. So that is good when you're playing a top five team here. The best midfielder in the world, dropping dimes. Oh, it was there. The little slip pass to Shikichi. You saw it. You saw where I was like, oh, Pavlok? Pavlok? Oh, I don't like that. Marcelo Enrique is not the guy that can keep the momentum of an attack going with his playmaking skills. Bellarmino. Bellarmino, Shikichi, and it's in. Muzaid Kaya scores it, and it's 2-0. Subs. Did we lose to Sunderland? Amazingly, yes. 120th minute set piece goal after we were down to 10 men for the entire uh, extra time. Not because of a red card, but because our goalkeeper got hurt when we were out of subs with a minute to go in regulation. And then the sub we had in extra time for some reason. Um, uh, we were, were not able to, uh, sub him in for the goalkeeper that came off with an injury a minute before we got to extra time prompted a very large debate about the rule and how it would have actually gone down in real life. If that sort of situation had happened, uh, they just got a red card. So that's pretty neat, but basically we had to play the entirety. You know, we had a goal that I thought was onside that was called offside. Uh, and then we had to play the whole extra time down to 10 men. We still actually had some pretty good chances, but. Then they pop the set piece in, and sometimes that's just how the cookie crumbles, you know? <sighs> hey! It's Terrell Hato! And that's the last sub. We are going to go get Mickey Vandeven, and we are going to go sh downshift. 
into a more reasonable formation. Jarrell Hato continues his goal scoring hot streak. All right, that was a good win. That was a very, very good win. I'm very happy with that. I'm tell the team I'm very happy with that. We immediately bounce back from our FA Cup debacle with a comfortable win in the league at home defending Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. And the opportunity to do something really special indeed is still on tap. And that brings us to Champions League, away against Aston Villa in the Champions League. A monster opportunity to get to a Champions League quarterfinal. We are the favorite, obviously, for this tie. Uh, yeah, let's do it, man. That's awesome. Best midfielder in the world out for a month. Oh, yes. Got a double hernia that's even worse than one. Wow. Wow, 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 wee wow. So much for the Ballon d'Or charge that he was on. Guess we'll just make do without him. So no Bellarmino Seca. No Bellarmino Seca for a month, which sucks. Don't have Canelio either. All right. This is the team, basically, that we're lining up with. Gongstead, Lewis, Hato, Inacio, Vandevin, Rejevic, Guerra, Indrik, Pavlak, Shikichi, and I'm going to go with Kieran Tall, even though everything in my entire being is screaming at me not to do that. I'm going to do it anyways. Let's go, baby! Champions League! Villa Park! In the round of 16! It's a home-cooked meal! They're giving us the time and the space to, to do this. And we have a very good passing midfield today. Guerra. Oh, a good sharp ball. Shakichi, Rajevic. We're moving at pace now. It's Indri! That looked like it was supposed to be a good chance, but who am I? Who, yeah, what do I know? All right, Indri. Oh, there we go. Cook him! Cook him, son! Shagichi, yeah, that's fine. Build it up methodically. Build it up methodically. Oh, it's Karen. the Darwin's going on here. <laughs> All this guy does is finish. That's his only endearing quality. If that is your only endearing quality, you cannot be missing that. Oh, give me a Regevich header. Jenny is Rejevich with an early brace at Villa Park. Shikichi, Pavlak, good spot. Tall, Rejevich for his hat trick. It's a stunning performance from the 21-year-old midfielder in the Champions League knockout stage. He has his first career hat trick inside the half hour. My cat named Spider is watching, keeps pawing your face. I think she likes you. I'm about to scare Spider. You ready? <laughs> sorry, Spider. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it, Spider. That is, I mean, obviously we didn't really do much in the second half, but that is an amazing result, chat, in the Champions League. To drop a 3-0 in the away leg, uh, Villa obviously a little down, and we were able to kind of ride off the momentum of beating them 3-0 in the league as well. City beat Inter Tuna. Oh, my God, Salzburg. 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 Somebody. Salzburg. They're up 1-0 on PSG going to Paris. 
Gungstead, Lewis, Hato, Anasio, Vandevin, Radjevic, Guerra, Indrik, uh, Pavlak, Chikichi, Kaya. Yep. Expecting a dominant display out here, please. That's what I'm expecting. I know I only have eight substitutes. That would be because of the crippling injuries. Oh, Radjevic, Indrik, hello. Hello. Still going. Still Leo. Shikichi. <sighs> Radjevic. Pavlak! There it is. Those are the types of goals that Dominic Pavlak should be scoring with ease. Oh, get there. Pavlak! Dude, can he score a goal with a ball on the ground? I mean, seriously. Next game's Chelsea. Yeah, we've got Chelsea in the league next. They're 13th right now. Radjevic, Shikichi's not winning that, so we can move on emotionally. McIntosh has now jogged alongside this guy all the way across the field. How in the world did that end up as a goal? Okay, as pretty as all this sharp passing looks. Let's get up the field and score a goal so that we can win both legs, please, because we really deserve it. Thank you. Kieran Tall, everybody! He actually found the goal! Exit, thank you for the four months. Have we won a trophy yet? Yes, we have won the League Cup. We are out of the FA Cup. This is Champions League round of 16. I mean, hey. You know, we didn't exactly take all of our chances, not even close, but we did win, so. I know it was a weirdly low intensity Champions League round of 16 match because we won the first leg 3 0 on the road, but we took care of the business. We put the win on the board, and that draw is going to be nervy because there are going to be some big teams that could potentially end up on our docket in that quarterfinal. Yep, 2 1, and Barcelona finishes a 1 0 win on aggregate over Juventus. Absolute barn burner. New intake of youth players. No, there's no stars. Attila Lipse. That is, okay. That is a sick name. Attila Lipse is a sick name. This, he's French, Hungarian, and English. <coughs> That's where the name Attila comes from. Liverpool's still going in the FA Cup. Nice. So I want first team here, and we've got a very well-rested first team. I think we'll just wheel out the exact same team we've been playing with before. Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, Tottenham v. Chelsea. We have 10 league matches left. If we win those 10 matches, we are unequipped. <laughs> oh my God, Chelsea. It's all right, they're like a wounded animal. They're ready to strike. Okay, they've got two matches in hand that could climb them all the way back up to ninth in the table, even though they're in 13th. Oh, come on, Pavlak. Ooh, Shikichi, he's an excellent defensive winger. Everybody always overlooks that part of the game, but Shikichi wins us the ball back a ton. Lewis, Endrick on his left foot. Yeah, there you go. It's what he does. A man like Rick. And the counter press eviscerated. Lovely. That's my former player. I literally sold him to them in January. Sleeper agent. Why is he? Oh, he's starting a shadow striker for them. Wow, that's why they're bad. Okay. Shagichi. Hato! That's the third post. Nice. Great things come in threes. Uh, Zealand, I have a Romeo and Juliet exam for school. Could you describe it in FM terms only? Uh, yes. You find a Brazilian wonder kid. Oh, that is onside. Tell me that's onside. That was so pretty. Thank you. Dominic Pavlok. Pavlocking it and dropping it. But in FM terms, you just, uh, you retire in the save because you can't live another moment without that wonder kid from Brazil. And then the player retires as well in protest over the rule. And then FIFA sits there and in a giant fit of sadness decides to change the rule that if both parties are incredibly interested, that Wonder Kids can move no matter the age. And that is Romeo and Juliet in FM terms. 
I, have you ever actually want to watch Romeo and Juliet? Couldn't recommend the modern adaptation in Cuba that includes Leonardo DiCaprio more. Worst piece of cinema I've ever seen. Because they don't change the words. Oh, nice. They don't change the wording. So it's just like 15th, 16th century English. It's just like 15th and 16th century English just over like modern dudes in Cuba. Hilarious, amazing. Now, if you watch like original Shakespeare, like in the Globe Theater in London and they're wearing the right attire, what a goal, by the way. It is a beggar. Shakespeare is still funny. Mujahid Kaya showing Kieran Tall how it's done with a beautiful touch turn and finish. I... Yeah, I've actually, I've seen two plays, uh, two Shakespeare plays in the Globe Theater. I don't remember what they were, but they were good. They were really good. Like, they're, they're funny and engaging and like, it's a good watch, you know? All right, we got to rotate pretty convincingly here. We, you know, we need, we need, uh, we need the second team out there. Because we've got two days off, then match, then two days off, then match. So this is showtime. <sighs> All right. Last time we put the second team on the field, though, we did not do very well. We lost an extra time to Sunderland. So as much as I'd love to say this is going to be a breeze at West Brom during a title race, they are starting Ingley and McAvoy, Tottenham Hotspur Academy player who we sold for $20 million during the January window. Nine matches left in the pro. Oh, these weren't a tracksuit. Come on, man. Take this seriously. Really? Oi, not enough air or not enough air. Garrow's a bit out of position as well. All right. Not ideal here. Definitely not ideal. Oh, let's go. Yes. Going to Javi Guerra, and it's 1-1. Oh, just gutted out on the set piece, man. I'm feeling the nerves, but Javi Guerra in the captain's armband today with the second unit with a big moment and a tidy freaking finish. God. Trying to run the exact same play we just scored off of. I don't hate the idea. Guerra. Oh, Belchior, Canelio. Oh, there he is. It's Kieran Tall and Tottenham are back in front. As much as I don't like him, he does pop up and he does have ability. I just wish that he could more consistently put away the easy chances. He's got a lot of Darwin to his game. A lot of Darwin to his game. Man, there it is. It's Rosales. A redemption goal after his early mistakes. 3-1 from the Mexican international. Francisco Rosales. Then with nine league matches to go, Tottenham are not showing chinks in the armor. Classic bad. I'm sorry if you're a West Brom fan. That was a heck of a start, and they really limited us to just two set piece goals is the difference in this game, really. Oh, Lucius. Oh. Mac settles it. Canelio, it's easy. They've walked it in for 4-1. Belchior Canelio. And that'll bring us to eight matches left to play in the league, and we're still looking cozy. Thoughts on Anthony Gordon for the Euros? I just don't know where he fits in the team. Like, I, I don't know how he gets into the team. He'd be like the last guy on the roster. I mean, England's so loaded in the attacking part of the field. I just don't know where he gets in. Where Cole Palmer's making it impossible to leave himself, like, off. I don't know where somebody like Anthony Gordon actually gets in. So this is our last match for the international break. It's pretty sweet, actually. We'll be able to reset because this has been a pretty compact week that we've had to deal with. When's the Champions League draw? Tomorrow. Oh, well, I'm glad I could ask. It's literally on the calendar. Because here we go. It is an eight-team draw. We can draw anyone in it. Arsenal, Manchester City, Barcelona, PSG, Bayern, Real Madrid, Celtic, and Tottenham. We are rooting for Celtic hard. Give me Celtic. 
Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Tottenham. Tottenham Hotspur. Tottenham Hotspur. Tottenham. No! PSG. PSG. Paris Saint-Germain. It's Real Madrid, Arsenal, Barcelona, PSG, Man City, Tottenham, Celtic, Bayern, Munich. I mean, it was very likely it was going to be tough. All right, this is the second draw. This is for the semifinal, who we would face. Celtic and Bayern, Munich. I mean, I might as well take that side. I got a chance at Celtic, even though it's a small chance. Okay, cool. We're on the Celtic side of the draw. Could be a Celtic semifinal. And then it's Real Madrid, Arsenal, Barcelona, PSG. We don't have Real Madrid or PSG on our side, which is nice, although we do have Bayern and they're crazy. <laughs> Man City in the Champions League, you say. Man City in the Champions League. Oh, and it sandwiches a match in the Premier League against Arsenal. That's wonderful. That's great. Oh, I love that. Oh, that's so fun. And then we got United away after those Champions League ties. Oh, that's so, that's so fun. We are currently obviously top of the table. If we win those eight matches, we win the Premier League outright. This is arguably the toughest match that we have left. We do have United and Arsenal also left in the league, but Liverpool especially away. It's a difficult go. Definitely a difficult go. It's going to be a, a tall order. They've been catching some good form second half of the year to get themselves in Champions League contention. Surely that's not anything. Come on. Come on. Oh, pen. Ref. Ref. Vandevin. Shikichi. Pavlok. Yes, that was on. That was on. Thank you. I always forget I have that air horn. Oh, yeah. You said Rodriguez is down? Oh, no. Did he go down after he made the pass? Oh, no, he's fine. Dominic Pavlak starting to, starting to play like the superstar that he can be. Come on. Yes, there we go. This is one of the very big hurdles between us and a Premier League title, and we are up 2-0 at Anfield before halftime. Feeling like Atalanta right now. Jarrell Hato, who's been an animal the second half of the season, dominating on set pieces. The big man gets another one. 2-0 at Liverpool. <sighs> All right, sub. Uh, Marcelo Enrique for Rodriguez, who just can't stay fit. Please, we've created loads. Keep doing that in the second half. We will be great. Oh, my goodness. It's Pavlok again! <laughs> Would I rather have Foden or Palmer? I mean, Foden, but... I'd put Palmer on the Euros team. Let's not be hasty now. Phil Foden is still like the best English attacker. Harry Kane's the only other guy in that conversation. I mean, they're very, very different players, but the best English winger playmaker is Phil Foden. I'll be a little more specific to make sure that I can say that statement. All right, nine points clear with seven to play, chat. We are putting in a shift, and we are closing in on something unbelievable. We've qualified for the Champions League with seven matches to play. That's crazy. That's crazy. The board already set some budgets, and they're kind of basically what we already have. They gave us a little bit more of a budget. Um, okay, Dominic Pavlak with the brace. I see you, brother. You're looking good, and we play last place Bristol City next. Well, that's a nice confidence builder. What's our run in? Uh, we've got a couple of tough matches. Uh, we've got Arsenal and United left. 
Uh, and they're all the, those matches are. So, yeah, we have Bristol City. They're worst in the league. We have Arsenal sandwiched between our Champions League tie with City. And then we have United right after it. But Crystal Palace, Nottingham Forest is nice. Bournemouth is in Europe right now. And then we have Southampton on the road to end the season. Oh, 50 best wonder kids in the world. Let's go. We already know about Marco Palma. We had a chance to sign him for like 40 million a couple years ago. And it will probably always haunt me. Oliva. Why does this guy not have a face? Can we just do Nugan? Whatever. Uh, oh, 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 oh. 16 year old in the Austrian national team. Sound the alarm. There is a 16 year old in the Austrian national team. Thank you. Hi. Lamine Fall, I already have on my list. I know that. Is this guy Faroese? Oh my god, there's a Faroese guy on the level. Top 50 Wonder Kids, he's Faroese. I don't even care if he's good. Target acquired. There is a Faroese kid in the top 50 Wonder Kids.